Whether your logs come from Fluent, Open Telemetry, or the One Agent, you want to know whether, after a deployment or configuration change, any new log patterns emerge that need your attention. Any critical logs, any configuration changes that now don't allow your system to connect to a depending system. To show how Dynatrace can help you, identifying new log patterns and then drill into the root cause, I invited my colleague Thomas, who showed me his latest dashboard that he also made aware on Dynatrace Playground Tenant for all of you to try out. So check it out, check out the session, and then also click on the link below to get access to the dashboard. Welcome everyone to another Observability Lab. Today we talk about log pattern analysis. Dynatrace can ingest logs from open telemetry, from the one agent, from any type of different data source. But the question is, what do we do with the logs? How can we detect whether we have a configuration mistake that actually creates a lot of error logs? How can we detect if our developers are actually specifying the right log level? I came with those questions to Thomas. Servus, Thomas. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Thomas, you said I have the answer for you because you've created the dashboard that you're now also going to share on the playground tenant that gives everyone that is using Dynatrace a head start in log pattern analysis and then also trying to figure out who created those logs because you Absolutely. want to make them actionable. Please show us what you have. Yeah. So, yeah, I created this uh, small little dashboard here uh, that follows the best practices for logs and can just help you in analyzing patterns that might uh, occur within your logs, right? So uh, first of all, let's have a look at what this uh, dashboard actually does. So it has a couple of variables here on the top. Mm -hmm. So we can first of all select what buckets that we want to mm -hmm. query from. So if uh, one of you hasn't had a look at buckets yet in, in the context of logs, they are like the most coarse grained way of how you can segment your data and uh, they can be used for various things like uh, access permissions as well as uh, also about just uh, making sure that you query the right amount of data. So they are, they are definitely something to look at and uh, you can just select from which buckets that you would actually mm -hmm. create the logs here. Second, then we also have the different namespaces mm -hmm. that we want to query. So on the one hand side, we have here Kubernetes namespaces. I've also put in something for non-Kubernetes, so mm -hmm. that this is also working for those of you who are not adopting Kubernetes here. Um, and then as the next one, we have the status, right? Mm -hmm. So what kind of log level that I would like to have. Uh, then we also have a sampling ratio. So as a reminder here, we do not want to have a look at every single log, but in reality, what we want to understand here is like uh, big patterns, yes, right? Yeah. So where is something that is abnormal where is something that I would like to have a, 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 a closer look at? So rather than looking at every single log, which this level one here would be, uh, I just want to look at 1% of my logs, mm -hmm. so one in 100. So mm -hmm. this is what this something 100 here means. And with that, I can just have a, a, a quicker look into my logs. And then I can also search for some oh. of the content mm -hmm. of my logs here. So uh, what that gives me uh, then, and I'm just changing here the status to error because uh, after all, that's one of the most common things that we mm -hmm. want to do, right? We want to analyze some errors. And then what we will get is that we have here this uh, big overview over all the different kind of log patterns uh, on the top. And then also some examples of how these log patterns actually manifested in our uh, application here altogether. So if I look at this, I have here all these different kind of logs mm -hmm. and I can already see here now, okay, well, these are the different kind of uh, errors that I have. And for example, I can see that there were some failed card verifications, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I also have here something that some uh, uh, open telemetry exporter failed. So all of these kind of things are oftentimes uh, good to be found within logs. And I can then, basing, based on that, just work with that and uh, understand a little further what's going on there. Yeah. I mean, what I what strikes out to me is the top error log pattern with 13,800 is a connection reset by peer, probably a, a configuration mistake where we're trying to connect to a certain system yeah. that is either no longer available or something like that. So a classical configuration mistake. Uh, the other one is the credit card verification. Yeah. The question is, if I want to take any of these now, mm -hmm. um, how would I find out where what to do next with it? That's an excellent question, right? And that way, we're not called dialogue, right? So, <laughs> so it's 
it, it, it's more than that, right? Yeah. So if I go into one of those, then I can always just say, okay, I want to open this with some of the other apps, right? So yeah. we are in a Kubernetes environment, so I could just open this in a Kubernetes app. I can view the services, but I believe we are called that trace, right? Yeah, so let's totally have a look the at the distributed trace, right? So if I take one of those, then it straight away gives me uh, this kind of trace here. And along with that, I can also get the log that we have in here, right? And that's actually interesting what it we have here, right? Interesting. Wow. Look at this. Yeah. So somebody is trying to connect to a different SaaS vendor for log ingest. So classical configuration mistake. I think actually if we go back to uh, the trace information, like the summary here, um, and like the services, I think it's a collector. If you go to summary, right? Yeah. Because we have all the enrichment, we know where the log is coming from. Somebody deployed the uh, Open Telemetry Hipster Shop app. Yeah. Uh, I, I believe, as far as I know, the Hipster Shop app comes with an Open Telemetry collector, and it's probably configured with one from one of the vendors, and then it's yeah. trying to put something there. Classical configuration mistake. I would have never known if it wouldn't be for your dashboard, because your dashboard said the top the top error log. Yeah is trying to connect to a system that is not accessible. In this case, it's a, it's a configuration mistake. Wow. Uh, besides configuration mistakes, what else can we do with this yeah. dashboard? So um, one very typical example that people are also looking into here is just understanding where are my logs coming from, right? Mm -hmm. So everyone is struggling with so many logs yeah. and where are they actually coming from? How can I uh, make sure that I'm not logging that much because after all, people are just getting overwhelmed, right? Yeah, yeah. So one of the use cases here might also be just instead of looking at the errors, I'm looking at the non-log level here, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And just check for the last 24 hours, where are my logs coming from, right? Yeah, and yeah. if I look at this here, I can already see uh -huh. like we have here a humongous amount of logs mm -hmm. that are being uh, logged here. So apparently we are logging each and every single HTTP request that is coming in there, right? So with some some numbers here. So might be useful, yeah, might yeah. not be useful. I, I really cannot judge. The question is, do I really want to store this for such a long period in time? Do I even want to ingest this? So you can just make sure that you are not wasting your budget on, on, on log ingest by just analyzing, okay, what kind of logs are there? And what kind of patterns can be avoided, maybe? Yeah, and exactly. And I think to your point, this seems to be a post to a certain URL path that's that's perfectly fine to log them, maybe. But there's no log status, so they're not critical. And if you really just want to get the number of posts to a certain URL path, that would be a good example again for a log-based metric. Right? Absolutely yeah. right. But just knowing that 80, 90 percent of all the logs are coming in from this pattern uh, seems a little bit excessive. Um, what else do I want? I think earlier in the errors, you had something about a credit card. Something was failing. Yeah. So let's check the errors once again, right? And I can just search here for some content as well. Let's just go for the payments, right? Because payments, I believe they are critical for everyone, right? Yeah, so, so if you have some issues with payment, then your company can't make money anymore. And mm -hmm. yeah, everyone starts screaming and shouting. So what we have here is just uh, a quick overview over all the different errors that are related to payments, right? So I can just see here straight away, I have some errors here, unsupported card type mm -hmm. near for the card number. Of course, this is masked, right? So we take care yeah. that we are not accidentally uh, taking here some, some credit card numbers or anything like that. So when I take this up, then I can just open this again with my distributed traces. And from the distributed traces, then I can get to see um, where is this coming from, right? So mm -hmm. the, again, we have here these logs that we have there for this mm -hmm. particular trace, along with the exceptions. So there was also that's an also really error nice. here, right? Yeah, so that's yeah. also important. Yeah. We also have the full, the full trace. trace. Yeah. And along with that, I mean, what's also in, in, interesting here from a log, I can, of course, also go to different other things, right? So I could go, for example, to the user session yeah. to see, OK, how did that actually affect the users that were using the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Or I can go to the Kubernetes uh, port or anything like that, right? Yeah. So we have everything in context. I believe that's what unified observability is all about, not just looking at logs as uh, 
disconnected signal, mm -hmm. but really having everything in context, being able to drill down from the logs to the traces, to the Kubernetes ports, to the infrastructure, to everything in one single place. Very cool. Thomas, do me a favor, go back to the dashboard again, last time. So thank you so much for sharing the dashboard. That dashboard, folks, is available uh, on the Playground tenant. Uh, it follows best practices, as you said, right? Absolutely. You can Safe to use in a uh, customer production environment. So. Yeah, exactly. And I think what I like about this, so you can use this to analyze log patterns that you didn't know before because it's on read. Now, best practice, remember, if you really want to then get alerts on certain patterns, you can take this and then create a log event or log, log based metrics. Um, but this is a great way to say, hey, we have some strange new logs. Like, hey, configuration mistake. We're sending data to a host that shouldn't we shouldn't send data to. And definitely not. Yeah, definitely not. Um, but yeah, very cool, very awesome. Thank you so much, Thomas. And with this, I think I want to say goodbye to the audience. But I don't want to say goodbye to you because I'm sure we'll have you back. Absolutely. Thank you very much.